people are trying to do all this on their phones, um, or maybe they don't have bad, they don't have good access. And Detroit is actually, you know, we should remember it's a very large, physically large city. There's, you know, you got to travel, um, and people may be having barrier, you know, problems with that. So there's. You know there are a lot of barriers that um, that we're seeing people confront now, and the next few weeks are really going to be critical to see if we can overcome some of those. And you know, just to circle back to your point about women's work and women's labor, I do want to say that you know, worrying about other people and remembering appointments and scheduling appointments and reminding and driving people places, those are all women's emotional labor. We we call that emotional labor, where you're keeping track of what other people need and trying to provide it to them. And that's real work. And you know, a lot of women are out there trying to schedule vaccine appointments, trying to do all this work, drive people. So, you know, one just one thing I would say is if, you know, if you're a man and you want to help stop this epidemic, uh, stop this pandemic, you know, pick up some of that labor. Think about uh, driving folks, trying to make appointments, um, scheduling, reminding, cajoling. You know, this is all the work that people need to do in their in their own communities with people they know and to reach out to people who trust them. And, you know, if you have someone and you know they that they know you care about them, they need to hear from you about, uh, you know, that you want them to get vaccinated.